Welcome to Arrow in Your Head Stadium in Carcass City, Misery, home of the Creeps. Anyone else notice the similarities to the Creeps fans and the Attackers fans? Looks like they're wearing Swiss cheese foam heads, but their heads are real, and they got real holes in them. Arrow in Your Head Stadium fans are not only the dumbest fans in the MFL, they're also the most literal. And today's matchup is going to be a good one. The teams are taking the field. The Hexon Oilers take on the Carcass City Creeps. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. And MFL Game Day is on the air. Grim Blitzrow and my partner Brickhead Mulligan and Mini Bricks. Heard you got a little touch of the mutant bird and pig flu. How you feeling, partner? Well, uh, the projectile vomiting finally let up, but uh, the monsoon mudslides have begun. <laughs> you can know what I mean. I've been, oh. I've been literally cramping his brains out all night. He's getting stupider by the hour, if that's even possible. And it's first and ten. Hot one. Hot. The quarterback has had enough and called a murder ball dirty trick to lay waste to the defense. And the defender just got cut in half. That's the way to move the chains. That's good for a first down. This game is all about momentum and killing. <laughs> First and ten. And they pick up nine with that catch. Uh, not enough for first, but still a nice game. And that'll bring up second and one. Hot one, hot two. Eight. Oh, that's a vicious hit. And the crowd loves it. He just turned that guy into 300 pounds of ground mutant meat. And you can't hit a guy much harder than that. And that is unfortunate. One, hot two, hot three. And, like I'm, and he put on the afterburners after that catch and scored. Nicely done. Kickers, you never know. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. when it feels like to have your teeth removed without Novocaine. If I had all my teeth knocked out like that, I'd have them made at the dice, Grim. It'd be fun to gamble with my own teeth. <laughs> Ouch! Anyone in the mood for a steak tartare? Second down and five. Four yards on that one. And he was just starting to pick up some speed. Hey, Grim, I know a guy if that's what you're after. And that'll bring up third and one. Hot one, hot two, hot two. And that'll give them four more downs to punish the defense. And you better believe they will. And it's first and ten. Hot one, hot two, hot, hot three. And he rumbles for nine on that play. <laughs> and 
And that'll bring up second and one. Hot one, hot two, hot, hot, hot. will give them a first down. I don't know if they're his, but he sure has a good set of hands. And it's first and ten. Okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. Straight through the uprights. They need a good return here to set up the offense. Just catch it, run it back, and don't die. Hit in the head with a boat all grim? Nope. Well, I have on several occasions. Not surprising. Multiple times on each occasion. Not surprising. And trust me, that hit was worse. First and ten. And that's how you get your buzz on in the MFL. Yeah, I'm two fifths into this bottle of scotch. Second down in a very lot. Hot one, hot two. It's a nice catch for five yards. Third down and, well, hot, good luck. Hot one, hot two, hot. No, he just heard footsteps and took his eye off the ball. What a pick ahead. Catch the ball, asshole. You know, sometimes the best thing to do is just punt and let your defense get the ball back. Punter has one job to do, and that's pump. They let the punt drop, and it will be down by the defense. And it's first and ten. And he laterals at the last second. Nifty defense holds him to a four-yard pickup there. Second down and six. First down! I've seen this guy drop a lot of balls in the past, but I heard the quarterback threaten to throw him a real bomb if he dropped one again. You know, good communication is important. And it's first and ten. was a bone 
crusher right there, folks. And that'll be second down and four. I thought the only tie we'd see would be a noose. Instead, they're in a dead heat. Tie game at the end of one. And that'll be second down and four. Ooh, that hit's gonna shave a few days off his life. And that'll bring up third down and seven. Well, that was a good throw. Yeah, if he was aiming for the ground. Most kickers should be able to make this one. But will this kicker make it? Find out next time on NFL Game Day. And the quarterback passes the ball and it rebounds back. Oh, devastating hit. You ever get hit that hard, Bricks? Yep. Third grade. Sister Mary Margaret of Our Ladies of Holy Hell. I thought it was brass knuckles, but it was just a regular knuckles. And he picks up about six on the play. Second down and four. Hot one, hot two. Hot. First down. This guy just loves to hit people as hard as he can, Brent. I don't even think he knows what a first down is. And it's first and ten. Hot. Nicely done for a first down. First and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. Hot. That's a four-yard gain. <laughs> Second down and six. Hot, hot one. Hot two. Hot. 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 And the runner is moving crazy fast. Look at the path he's taking the field. Yeah. He's to the races. The coach isn't liking that call. Oh, his head just exploded. Second down in a lot. Offense says it's time to put the ref out of his misery. Four on that play. Third down and forever. Hot one, hot two, hot three. Caught for the first down. First and ten. 
Man, he was running like he had a load in his pants. Picks up maybe two. Uh, we always ran with a load in our pants, Grim. It's a pretty good defensive tool. Yeah, except the zombies. They are freaks. Well, one yard is better than nothing, but not by much. And that'll bring up third down and seven. Oh, a great catch, and he picks up a new set of downs. And it's first and ten. Hot one, hot two, hot, hot three. That's a great nine-yard completion there. Hey, it ain't great if you don't score or move the chains. Two minutes remain in the half. Great! I gotta take a dump! Again? You just wet. How is that even possible? Ah, it's the nachos, man! Want some? Hot one, hot two, hot three. Man, what a hit that was! Smart move there, stopping the clock with their first time out. And for all you know, maybe he's just stalling or wiring the ref some cash. And it's first and ten. Hot one, hot two, hot three. It's two-yard run before he stopped. Second down and seven. Hot, hot one. Nailed him running the numbers for a touchdown. You know, his great grandfather was in that movie Alien 17. Where is Ripley when you need her to bust out the big guns? Bam! He's just leaving one big skid mark out there. Well, a little chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. The kick is good. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. And that's a returnable ball. Returnable? You mean he can get a refund for it? No, no, Bricks. It means he can return it for... You know what? Never mind. If that hit didn't cripple him, it certainly left skid marks. And it's first and ten. The defense better watch out. The quarterback just threw a murder ball. I don't know if he even had a target on that throw. Second down and ten. run for five yards first time out under two minutes the chess game has begun it's like chess only you can kill people third down and five they run it for a yard A timeout is called by the defense to stop the clock. They have one remaining. Oh, boy, they're going for it. This could get uglier than the baby... Welcome to the Droid Rage. How can I help you? Yeah, I'll take a double Roid burger, large Roid fries, and a big Roid go. Uh, anything else? Yeah, I'm just going to rip your head off and get out of here. That's about it. And he scores! Back in 2017, started implementing extreme alien betting. You can see how well it all worked out. Man, it was just trying to make America great again, Grim. Now well, that's fake news. It's been proven. Oh, nice time warp dirty trick called by the D, and the offense is pissed. <laughs> well, for you kids at home, that's how you play mutant football. Hey, wait a minute. What the... A roid rage dirty trick transforms a player into a rampaging lunatic for the duration of the play. I know that's typical of all MFL players, but this is different. <laughs> Trust me, very different. Touchdown! And he rips off a game-breaking run for the score! A 
Okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. It's good. When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. Uh, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. You can't keep the... Oh, and that's what they call the money shot. And it's first and ten. I bet you took a lot of shots like that over your career. It's a tie game at the end of quarter two. The teams are deadlocked in a fierce struggle today. We'll be right back with today's halftime show brought to you by Monsatan Industries. Eat their delicious Franken food. Hey, during the half, can you pick me up a soil and beer? Third quarter, we are all tied up and set to kick off the second half. Uh, speaking of all tied up, Grim, how many of them elephant lags in the pills did I take? Uh, I feel like I'm sitting on Mount Vesuvio right now. Oh, one false move, and I'm gonna blow! <laughs> Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh. I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned on the light, it wasn't a bra in my bed. It was a chip wearing a wig. Tossed the ball out of bounds. Good move. Second down and ten. Nice pickup for six yards. Third and four. foot into that one. He's got the ball now and is going to try and score. One time when I was playing, a guy hit me so hard, I went into a dark tunnel. Thought I saw my grandparents waving at me in the light. Turns out it was just the visitor's tunnel that he knocked me into, and it was the paramedics waving fingers in my face. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two. It's a nice gain of about seven yards on that run. Second and three. And he just wrestles away from that tackle. Gets the ball, get the first down, and don't die. See, it's really a simple game when it comes down to it. Hello now. Hello now. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two. Hot. Oh, what a punishing hit that was. And that's how you make a guy remember your name and your shoe size. Because he just walked all over him. And that'll bring up second and one. Hot one. Hot he had it for a second there. Third and one. You've got to 
catch that. And kickers practice for this kind of kick every day. Pretty standard. Nothing standard when you got bloodthirsty mutants on the defensive line. He is automatic. Nice kick. Boring. Just get the points and let's move on. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five. Like he just saw 400 scary movies after that hit. It sounds like my off season. And it's first and ten. Second down and more than the QB would like. And that's perfect coverage. Nice deflection. Third down and long. the football first down and it's first and ten and he held on to that one for a first down First and ten. And the quarterback throws a murder ball, which will slice its way through any defensive player trying to block it. Ouch, that's got to hurt. Man, those mutant traps will kill you faster than one of Brick's farts. Oh, and that one's going to hurt. He may not be able to comprehend math after that hit. What's math? Exactly. First and ten. Hot. Hot one, hot two, hot three. The ground game should be their bread and butter. A gain of eight right there. Hey, anyone seen that Korean kid yet with my barbecue? Last time I ordered Korean, I got Kim Jong Il. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot, hot three. His cleats are caked in blood and guts, and he's looking to score. The 30. And then it's a first down from a great catch. Was it a catch, though? Let's consult at least 72 pages of rules to figure it out. And it's first and ten. Hot one, hot two, hot down and five and he runs it in for the touchdown don't want to make any mistakes here just kick the ball through the upright for god's sake right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. And it's first.
first and ten. Second down in a very lot. That, my friends, was an all-pro NFL hit. And that brings us to the end of the third quarter. They'll need to fire on all cylinders to make a comeback in the final quarter. Third down and six. the way to get the sticks moving. He picks up five on that play. Well, they couldn't pick up a first down, so now they have to punt. And he booted a high arcing rainbow. And he snapped. Oh, what a brutal hit. And it's first and ten. Second down, and we've got to pick up at least half of this. One, hot two. He picks up ten yards on that play. Third down, and the punter is warming up. First down. Give this guy a few catches and watch his confidence take off. He is deadly in the open field, Bricks. And it's first and ten. Hot one, hot two. Shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> it goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. He sets up for the return. Let's see if he can break one wide open. First and ten. Oh, with a punishing hit. And it's first and ten. And that's how you run the football. A pickup of seven on the play. Well, why is it that more mentally disturbed clowns don't play football? They'd be good. You know, they're all in politics, apparently.
want. And the offense jumps off sides to kill the ref. They say, we're mad as hell and not going to take it anymore. Second down and ain't going to happen, partner. Detroit will now is a sticky ball dirty trick. The defense pretty much turned the ball into a yo-yo of doom. Did you ever think you'd say that, Grim? A yo-yo of doom? No, my friend. I didn't. I love this job. Third down and the QB is saying his prayers. Killer, it was right there, and then he dropped it. Ah, oh, scumbag is killing me in fantasy. League. And out comes the most underrated position in football the mighty punter. Nice punt, should move him back nicely. Nice catch, and he turns on the afterburners. Punt returners in this boom. First and ten. Hot. Hot one. Eight. The quarterback had no time to throw, and the defense gets a big sack. <laughs> Second down in a mile. Eight. Looks like a pass, and it's bouncing right back to the QB. It's the sticky ball dirty trick. Ah, oh, pass the popcorn, Grim. Zoom in on his face, then his crotch. I want to see if he cries or pisses himself first. Third down and never going to happen. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot three. And he's off to the races. Look at that little mutant run. Comes the extra point attempt. Hey. Straight through the uprights. <laughs> the teams are lined up for the kickoff. Not a bad kick, but not a great one either. Well, his nickname is Lukewarm. And he's proud of that? Yeah, that's why he named his clothing company Lukewarm Friends. The quarterback shifts gears and goes into his hurry up offense. Two minutes of timeout means the QB is playing beat the clock, and he better win. And the offense goes into the hurry-up formation to try to conserve time. Oh, what a great defensive play that was, Bricks. Kind of like your Aunt Bertha. This guy has some big balls. What a hit. Yeah, she does have a big pair, Grim. You're right. First down. The timeout is called by the quarterback. They have one left. The offense wants to speed things up, so it signals a hurry up. Yeah, see, this Prince's ex girlfriend signaled when they were doing it. Yeah, she called it rabbit sex. I took it as a. Oh, the defender almost picked off the ball on that one.
And the hurry up offense wears out the defense since they can't rest their players. He dropped it. If he does that again, they'll drop him. The offense changes the pace by going into a hurry up. Does that mean the defense gets into a hurry up too? just called a time warp dirty trick and now it's like everything that just happened didn't get Brick's mom on the phone quick i want to use 13,000 of those time warps and i'm doing mistakes she did about 35 years ago Okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. It's good. <laughs> Looks like they're lined up for an onside kick. Uh, I thought they were going to do some sort of chorus line. He is fighting for every yard. And they stack the line, and he gets his bell rung for a yard. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two. Hot, hot. Normally that would be a first down, but he had a whole lot of ground to make up. The defense takes its final timeout. They can't stop the clock anymore, so they'll need to stop the offense. Second down, the size of Brick's wiener. Hey! Sorry, partner. Oh, my gosh! The defensive play looks like... Oh, the unstoppable force meets the explodable object. He's rumbling and stumbling. He could go all the way. He's at the 40. He's at the 30. The 20. Oh, so close, but not today. The creeps pound the opposition to hell and win it home today. They come up big today with a solid win, and the opposition will be licking their wounds on the long plane ride home. I heard wounds taste just like chicken. How is it Spanish tomato soup? I forget, but a good scab tastes like bacon. Down my mouth. Mm-mm, a scab lettuce tomato sandwich. Sounds like a picnic. And the MVP is about to inspire us with some words of wisdom. Once again, the folks at Evil SN thank our viewing audience and the Mutant Football League for allowing us to telecast this sports presentation. This is Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. signing off. Today's final game stats are brought to you by the Microhard Corporation. They get it right every up.